Hi my angels and welcome back to my channel. Today is another episode of Hack or Height and today I'm going to be basically testing out this trend that's kind of been going viral on TikTok recently but I believe it originally started from a Wayne Goss video like seven or eight years ago. So um, I'm going to base it on his particular method but it's very very similar to this. But it's basically where you apply your loose powder before your foundation and that's supposed to make your foundation look really really smooth and really airbrushed and it's supposed to also make your makeup last super super long and I believe it's also supposed to be very good for people with really oily skin. Now I don't have oily skin, my skin's very normal to combination, there are certain areas that can be a little bit drier at times of the year and just very randomly but generally it's quite normal to combo. Um, so yeah I'm going to be testing this out, I've already done my eyes, um, I've gone for a bit of a blue vibe on the eyes because I was just feeling like adding a little bit of colour because I haven't worn makeup in a very long time. Um, so yeah, if you would like to see me try this hack out and see whether it's actually a hack or whether it's just hyped, then please keep watching. So I'm going to start off by moisturising my skin and I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown Face Base and this is really, really nice and hydrating. I actually love it under makeup and my skin is feeling a little bit on the dry end today, I have no idea why. I'm just getting this all over my face. One of my friends, Jordan Liberty, also uses this as a technique for getting a really flawless base. So I'm very, very excited to try this out because I love, love, love his work. But I was actually watching Wayne Goss's video this morning and he actually went in with like a luminizing kind of primer vibe next. So I'm going to take my Becca backlight priming filter and I'm going to get that onto my face as well. And hopefully this is going to still add a bit of a glow to my skin without it looking too dry or too matte. The videos that have actually been going viral on TikTok, they've been using moisturizer first, then a setting powder, then a primer, then the foundation. But I'm kind of going off of Wayne Goss's video because I feel like he was the OG to like put this onto YouTube first. So next, which is gonna be the weirdest thing because I've never done this before, is popping a setting powder on top. Now I know, I feel like Jackie Ina also does this when she does her base, um, but I've never ever tried it out before, so I'm very excited and also a little bit scared to do this because putting a powder on this and then a liquid on top, like all over my face, kind of freaks me out a little bit, but this is the whole point of the series for me to try these different weird, wonderful makeup hacks out and let you guys know my thoughts. So. For the loose powder, I'm going to be using the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores. Now actually doing this technique is supposed to make your pores appear smaller, your skin a lot smoother, um, and this powder I've been loving at the moment. I actually use this to like set my under eyes, um, but yeah, this time around I'm going to be using it all over my face. So I'm going to get this onto my entire face. Some people do like fully like add a really, really thick layer, but I'm only gonna be dusting it over my face because I just feel like it's really unnecessary to be putting that much powder on my face. So I'm just going ahead and getting that all over and then we can move on to the foundation. So I've put the powder on to my skin and my skin feels so baby soft and so like slidey almost and smooth. And this has basically locked all of my like skin I suppose in place and then when the foundation goes on top it's supposed to just glide all over it and it's supposed to last a lot longer because this is going to be acting like as a barrier and kind of like a bit of as a primer and glue before the foundation goes on top but overall my skin just looks nice and matte in a sense not too like dry matte I'm gonna actually zoom you guys in very close so you can see um but this is currently what it's looking like I don't know whether you can hear that you just, you can kind of feel that there's a layer of powder on my face. But you can't see it, so that's the main thing. Um, so now, it's gonna be the interesting part. But now this comes the exciting part, and that is adding my foundation on top. I really hope this matches me. I feel like I've been walking out in the sun quite a lot. My freckles are coming out again. But this is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation in the shade Golden Natural. I'm just gonna get a few pumps of this, maybe like a pump and a half onto the back of my hand. And now comes the exciting part of actually getting this on to my face. So I'm just gonna pick some foundation up on the back of my beauty blender and get to bouncing. Hmm. My skin looks so smooth. Oh my God, I was not expecting this. Oh wow, let me zoom you guys in. My skin looks so smooth. 
I don't know if my camera's picking it up, but in real life, like to the eye, my skin just looks like whoosh, really, really smooth. This is definitely my summer color, <laughs> but I'm hoping once I put my concealer on, we can even this out. Oh, it's sitting so nicely on my nose as well. I feel like I really like this already. <laughs> I'm gonna get another little half a pump on the back of my hand and then I'm gonna get that onto my forehead and make sure everything is nice and blended out into my skin. First thoughts, my skin looks so smooth and like whoosh, like it's all like on one type of like canvas if you know what I mean. I feel like my texture has definitely like gone a lot smoother. And I also kind of feel like when my foundation was going on, it was like gripping onto my skin a lot better. I genuinely didn't think it would look this nice, but I'm so impressed. Now it's time to get my concealer on. I was actually gonna do my concealer first, but I wanted to see exactly what this looked like on my base. But the concealer I'm gonna use is my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Light 2.75 Canel and get that onto the usual areas that I like to brighten and highlight my face and make sure everything is blended out really nicely. And then I can move on to finishing the base and the rest of my face off. I am so impressed with the way that this is looking. Let me zoom you guys in. As you guys know, I love filming in natural light so you guys can see exactly how my makeup looks like on real skin. And this is currently what it's looking like. Can you see just how smooth my skin looks? I just can't get over how smooth this looks. Like, I feel like I probably wouldn't do this every single day, but definitely for like special occasions, like this may have to be like my new technique that I use because this just looks flawless and my skin doesn't feel like I've got a lot of product on because I made sure I use like thin layers of everything but I'm very impressed. I'm gonna finish my base off very very quickly so I'm gonna set all the areas where I applied that concealer just to make sure that's not gonna budge anywhere. Now I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer in the shade medium and get that onto all the usual areas that I want to look nice and bronzed and sun-kissed. Now adding a little pop of blush. And now time for some champagne pop on the tops of my cheeks and also I'm taking that up into my brow bone as well. I just very quickly did my brows and my lipstick off camera. For brows, I used the Huda Beauty Bomb Brows. And for lips, I used Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner, Coming In Hot by Vive. And for gloss, I used the Pat McGrath Lust Gloss Lip Gloss in the shade Faux Real. And that is the end of this like little makeup look but I did look up close and personal on like a really big zoomed in mirror and it is very 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 full coverage I'm not gonna lie it's not something that I would wear every single day but as my like overall thought on this viral kind of hack I would say it definitely is a hack it's not hyped at all and this is something that I would probably do for special occasions maybe like weddings or times where I probably want my makeup to last like the whole day, like morning till evening. This is definitely a technique that I would use. Um, but overall, I'm really, really happy with the way that it's looking on my skin. My skin genuinely looks so smooth. I'll give you another little zoom in so you guys can see. Um, this, this is what I'm working with. And like I said, natural daylight, like this is what it's looking like. And this is as close to what it's gonna look like in real life um, on camera. But I'm overall really, really, really happy with the way that it's turned out. I'm gonna try this actually with maybe different types of foundations on top. I'd love to try it with like a tinted moisturizer or something really, 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 really lightweight and like not that much coverage. Cause if it's gonna help make my like base last longer and still look very, very like flawless, but with not as much coverage, I think I'd be a very happy person. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this hack or hyped video. I would love to know if there are any hacks that you guys want me to test out. Please leave them in the comments below. And yeah, I think that's everything from me. All the products that I've used will be listed in the description box. If you've made it this far, then please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and a comment. And don't forget to subscribe as well. But yeah, I think that's everything from me from now. I'm sending all of the love and light from my heart to you guys. And I will hopefully see you all in my next video.